Today we're going to look at how to perform a linear regression using the TI Inspire. We begin on the home screen by creating a new document. Once we do that, we're going to insert a list and spreadsheets page. That brings up this screen here and it looks basically like a table. We go right up into the top where the gray A is and we'll call that column X. Then we tab over to the next one where the B is, and we'll call that one Y. We go down to row one, and we begin entering our data. So let's enter some data there. And then we go into our Y column, and we enter the next part of the data. And so I've entered my data from my list. Once I've done that, I'm ready to look at the scatter plot. We use control I to insert a new page. The page we want is a data and statistics page. This is where I'll create my scatter plot. I go over to the left, click where it says to, that's the Y axis, so I'll pick the Y. I'll go down to the bottom and I'll pick the X because that's the x-axis. And notice now I have a scatter plot that represents the points that I entered. Let's draw the line and get the equation. We press menu, analyze, regression, and then linear mx plus b. Notice that the line appears, and that's the line of best fit. That's the line that comes the closest to the most points. The equation is shown below. In this case, the equation is y equals 0.95x plus 2.55. I've now inserted my equation. Now, it's time to look for the correlation coefficient. That's going to tell us how close and how accurate our line is to representing our data. I will insert a new page once again with control i. This time, I'll add a calculator. Once I have my calculator screen, I click Menu, Statistics, Stat Calculations, and then Linear Regression, MX plus B. When I click on that, it brings up a little form that looks like this. The X list we called X. The Y list we called Y. And then I just tab down to the bottom and I select OK. Notice down here it has the R value. The R value is the correlation coefficient. Here our correlation is 0.98, which is very close to the number 1. So we know that it has positive correlation and that the correlation is very strong. That's how you use the TI Inspire to perform a linear regression and to find the correlation coefficient.